Phil Kessel will now be the active consecutive games played leader in the NHL. But the number one trend in Canada came from an Instagram post of him eating hot dogs out of the Stanley Cup. I gotta put it out there. Phil does not really love to eat hot dogs. He does eat hot dogs sometimes maybe on the golf course, but no, he does not love to eat hot dogs. And uh, I was with Lupo and I think Kessel was there too and, and we were joking about Carlisle and we were messing with Kessel because he's a guy that doesn't want to play for a guy like that. I swear we were giving it to him so bad about what, what he was gonna be in for and, and the bike club and the fat club and, and how he was gonna have to work in practice and how long practices were and all this stuff. And all I can remember from uh, that came out of Phil's mouth and I still remember this like till the day is, buddy, I'm just not gonna do it. <laughs> I just don't care, I'm just not gonna do it. So Phil sit on the sits on the trainer's thing. He's talking. He's, he's you know he's giving it to me about something. What's the game plan tonight, Talk? I go, Kess, If I played nowadays, I'd just bury you. He goes, You're not that tough. You're not that strong. I said, I could in my suit right now do 15 chin ups right now in my suit. And I go, How much? I said, well, I think we get was it 300 or 500 bucks or whatever. I said, Whatever you want to bet, Phil. I'll bet you 500. So all of a sudden he go, Come on, boys, get over here. Talk's gonna do it. So all of a sudden all the guys come around and I did. I actually did 16 chin-ups. Get my suit, the my fuck suit. out of here. And fold with a suit on. Suit on. So Phil takes off, comes back, and peels off 500s. So I made 500 bucks. His conditioning when he comes to camp is superb. Like, he, he does a, he blows away a 68 BO2 max. He can throw the weights around. And then he pays less and less attention to it as the season goes on. So, and he's, his eating habits aren't perfect. <laughs> uh, um, but he, but... I really enjoyed having Phil on the team. Like, and just there is a current of anti-Americanism in Canada, and they didn't like Phil. And the worst part is Phil could care less what anyone thinks. Uh, like I said, I don't, I don't think I need to talk every day to you guys. I don't have, like, I don't have that much to say. All right. <laughs> well, he was getting a real rough ride here, and I went down and sat next to him in the stall. I said, Phil, you want me to do a rant here and get these brush the flies off for a couple of days, as only Brian Burke can do. He said, Berkey, the only people I care about sit in this room. I could care less what people think of me here. And that drove people nuts. So I enjoyed having him. He's, he's, a, he's a good guy. He's got- I love Phil. I've been trying to get him on my podcast forever, and he's just been icing me. Scale of mosquito bite to gunshot wound. How hard did Kessel's axe swing feel on the old leg? <laughs> it was almost, have you ever been um, hit with a belt when you were growing up, your mom's belt or a wooden spoon? It was like oh. that. <laughs> That was, the that's like, what the great, like. not the worst. No, it stung for like five, and I didn't feel it at the time, but when I got, you know, in the locker room and the, the juices kind of died down, I was like, whoa, what's going on my leg? And there was like a welt on my leg, but 